Continuing on with some bonus sermon content, each week I want to talk about the blends and how each temperament blended with a, a secondary temperament uh, shows itself out and so that we can understand who they really are. So if you're a Mel Sang, if you're a melancholic and sanguine personality, these are the musicians. These are the ones who are gifted uh, artists. They make the best teachers. Uh, they're very emotional. They're moved to tears very easily and they feel everything. However, they're very critical and hard on others uh, because they're rigid and they're uncooperative. And when you look into the Bible, someone with this combination temperament is probably someone like Elijah. When you think back over Elijah's life, he was very gifted, but also uh, was very critical and hard on others. Uh, the second blend, the, mel the melchlor, uh, the melancholic and the caloric, nothing vocationally this person cannot do. They have self-will, they have determination, they can get anything done. They're the perfectionists. They're the drivers of society. However, they're difficult to please because they're so perfect and want everything to go a certain way. Uh, their mood follows a thought process. You know, they're going to experience certain emotions because of certain things that are going on. They're more likely to get angry at God or people. You know, their anger flares up. And they're nitpickers because of their perfectionist tendencies. And when you look into the Bible, you can see Moses being like this, where you know he is leading the children of Israel across the desert, and the people are complaining, and, and Moses gets angry and eventually hits a rock there, uh, which shows his true character. And then the greatest scholars of the world, those who are very meticulous, is the Mel flag, the melancholic phlegmatic personality. Uh, they have an analytical perfectionism about themselves where they can have organized efficiency. They can put it all together. However, they are easily discouraged because they have negative thinking patterns. Because of them trying to put everything together, they realize that they can't reach those goals and they can get frustrated. Their anger is not so much outward towards God or towards people. It's actually inside, and so it's hard to, t hard to tell. They're vulnerable to fear and anxiety and negative self-image because, again, they're looking at themselves in the mirror and that doesn't measure up, to, measure up to what they think. And again, the Apostle John comes to mind with this person. So uh, he's the one that would not only be a great scholar, he was uh, wrote a lot of books in the Bible, but he also was one who struggled with uh, his self-image. And so someone put it this way, uh, the hard-driving caloric produces the inventions of the genius-prone melancholy, which are sold by the personal sanguine and enjoyed by the easygoing phlegmatic. So I hope you're enjoying these uh, studies on the temperaments. And again, this is something where it's not just something good to understand about yourself, but as you get to learn about other people, it will help you deal with them and to accept them and love them as Christ did and as God expects us to do.